Okay. Hi, I'm Jennifer Giles, and we're here at opening night of the Long Island International Film Expo. I'm here with Anne and Jeremy, a husband and wife team, and they have a new film called Consider the Sparrow. Yes. Consider. I don't have my glasses on, so I can barely <laughs> see that. Um, we've known each other a very long time. Yeah. Um, as commercial actresses, That's and then true. we started filmmaking. I think a lot of people get into that, into uh, making their own films. Right. Once we're, we're we're sick and tired of standing around and waiting for something to happen, so yes. we we became. And tell me, tell me, um, how did you uh, come up with this film? What's it about? Um, when is it playing? Great question. So it's playing tonight. At tonight. Nine, it's in tonight's nine fifteen slice of life. Block, well, I so. will be there. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and Jeremy can say a little about how it developed because he started. It. So this started out from a play. It's a play called The God Game Okay. by uh, Suzanne Bradbeer. She wrote a, a full-length play, uh, and our other actor and I worked on scenes in classwork and decided to ask her if she'd make a, a short film for us, and so she did, and the film is about God and politics. Oh, that sounds... <laughs> Sounds like there's one politician out there who thinks he is God in politics. Yes, well, well we won't maybe mention any them. names. Maybe all of them. Um, so are, you're not a photographer? You are a photographer. I'm a photographer as well, yeah. Yes, I remember that. And so did you? were you the DP as well? No, or? I was not the DP. We acted as husband and wife in the film. Um, but I did do the editing on the film. Um, and I have another film that I'm uh, uh, directing uh, in September. So no DP work yet, but it's... It's it's, it's got to be it's there. It's all ticking away, yeah. right? And how was it working together on a film? <laughs> well, this is our second short, and the first short we also played husband and wife. <laughs> yeah, that one was a comedy. It was a mockumentary. This is very different. Um, I don't know. We we also co-produced with our third producer, and um, what she's trying to say is it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least one of you thinks so. <laughs> And you're playing, and it's playing tonight at 9:15. Yep. Fantastic! I can't wait to see it. How long is the film, and where did you shoot it? Um, it's 25 minutes long, which is a little long for a short. But it, like we said, it was an adaptation of a full-length play. Yes. Um, and uh, we shot in West Virginia. Uh, we actually drove our crew, cast and crew, down from New York in summer of uh, 21 under that lovely. SAG uh, micro budget contract uh -huh. so we and COVID. Yeah, yeah, but we were able to do it. We were <laughs> yeah. able to do it. Yeah. The COVID budget. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. And shot in this beautiful home in the trees in this small, in the middle of nowhere town in West Virginia. How did you find that town? Um, it's my childhood best friend's oh. second house. Oh, because <laughs> you always, those are always <laughs> use people that you know. Yes, so those are always the best locations. Exactly. F R E E. Yes. Right. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, congratulations Thank on getting so into much. the festival, and I can't wait to see it. Thank, Thank you. So this is so awesome. wonderful. It's yeah. so good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>